Howdy mates, good afternoon. So, still over at Charleston Falls right now. It's my second video for my birthday. However, I want to talk about a particular plant that I have made a video on in the past, before. So, what's the first plant that you think of right off the top of your head? Give you guys a second. If you guys may have thought of Aeschylus glabra, also known as the Ohio Buckeye, you'd be correct. However, I'm not going to just talk about the Ohio Buckeye, but I want to talk about a distinguishing feature of what happens. So, you may have you may have noticed, looking at some of the leaves, it has like a bright yellow color. You might be wondering, what exactly does that mean? I mean, you can actually see some of them kind of have like a, like a brown tip on them. It usually has a little bit to do with the nutrient content found in the soil that is causing such coloration. Uh, you know, with those common signs on the leaves, there's usually a deficiency in potassium. And potassium is indeed one of the most important plant nutrients that belongs to nature. I mean, it's no different than the human body. We also need to have potassium as well. So, you may be thinking, like, what exactly is the particular role for potassium when it comes to plants? Well, for one thing, plants also require the use of ATP, also known as adenosine triphosphate. And such... A chemical will allow the production of starches and photosynthesis to occur at a more efficient pace. So essentially it is what potassium is what allows a tree for instance to produce its food and allowing the I'm gonna use a fancy term but plants have something called a stomata on the leaves, usually, especially among the underside of a leaf. However, though, it's usually microscopic, so you can't really see it with the naked eye. But these stomata, they're essentially like they're like a mouth, really. The stomata opens and closes, and there are probably million, you know, millions of them on a single leaf. But the stomata, they essentially, so they open up whenever they need, whenever the plant knows that it needs more carbon dioxide, so they'll take it in. So then in the process that is part of photosynthesis, specifically in the light-independent reaction, getting in depth now, the stomata will then close when it has what it needs, and then it will open back up again to release oxygen for us guys and the other fellow homies. So it's quite surprising that maybe perhaps the soil of where we are might be slightly deficient in potassium. And another factor that could maybe lead to their coloration is just due to defoliation. So maybe it's, you know, the growth is not as efficient as it should be. And as I mentioned, that is part of what potassium does. But yeah, that, that's something to look for. And it could also be the fact too that you know, Ohio Buckeye is one of the first understory trees to produce leaves early on. And then they'll be some of the first trees to release their leaves once it approaches fall time. But yeah, potassium, it essentially does the same thing for the human body. You know, it allows us to regulate how much ATP our body produces. That's like our body's main fuel essentially, from the reaction of glucose. 
And that's what allows our muscle contractions to happen and allow us to exercise. So, like for instance, when we have a deficiency in potassium, that's when we'll have in, along with dehydration, of course, that's when we start to experience some of our Charlie horses. But, so, that's something to look for, though. It, this coloration happens quite frequently with Ohio Buckeye. But yeah, you can, you see some there. But you can just, it, you can tell it definitely stands out because everything else is mostly green. Yeah, there's another one there. So I'm actually going to share an article with you guys that regards more of what potassium really does for plants. I mean, I just covered some of the more surface information. But potassium plays a large role. So, all right, guys. Hope you uh, all learned something in the video. Hope, you know, that it could be of some use. You know, for those of you who are maybe growing your own Ohio Buckeye, just something to keep in mind. And alrighty, hope all you enjoy your Sunday and journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks.